it actually hasn't gotten better. The percentage has risen from 40% in 2006 to 45% in 2011. There are over 72 million children under the age of 18 years old in the U.S. In 2013, the poverty rate was 37.4% for African American women and 41.6% were made up of Hispanic women. The percentage of children living in families with two parents decreased from 88% to 69%. Only 60% of single mothers work full time jobs. In 2014, 9.5 million people were among the working poor. The people who choose not to work aren't doing so because they're lazy. Many have other responsibilities such as taking care of relatives, dealing with an illness, or attending school. Studies have shown that reading score differences between low-income and wealthier students could be explained largely by discrepancies in the sorts of institutions they attended throughout their childhoods. Particular variations of English reflect superior and inferior language capabilities. This incorrectly assumes the very existence of superior and inferior language varieties. Education plays a major role. 86% of children of parents with less than a high school degree are likely to live in low-income families. 67% of children from parents with just a high school degree and no college live in low-income families. Most public benefit spending is for participation largely senior citizen to have paid for the services via a lifetime of work. You have to have a set amount of income after taxes to be eligible. For example, a household size of two must have a growthly monthly income of $1,760 and a net worth of $1,354. Actually, 31% of American adults, or 76 million people, say they are struggling to get by or just barely making it. Poverty level income plus $1 is still poverty. Low-income parents are less likely to attend school functions or volunteer in their children's classrooms, not because they care less about education, but because they have less access to school involvement than their wealthier counterparts. They are more likely to work multiple jobs, to work evenings, to have jobs without paid leave, and not be able to afford child care and public transportation. <laughs> These are some of the myths and facts surrounding low-income families and individuals. We hope you learned something and enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching!